Good morning, dear students in grade 11 in Mushtama Private School. How are you? I hope everything is okay with you. Today's lesson is vocabulary. But at first, let's start with our school vision to prepare creative and educated students who are able to establish civilized aware of society, stick to the authentic morals and values in addition to using the modern technology. Dear students, remember that innovation is the value of the month and importance of science is the value of the week. Let's start our lesson with this data. Talk about the types of personality you know. Of course, you know four types of personality. You can speak about one of them. Our first objective to consolidate vocabulary by completing a set of ten sentences using the right adjectives. Page 84, exercise A. Here are some adjectives for people. Aggressive, which means angry and violent. Anxious. Wanting to achieve success in something in life. Conscientious. Making an effort to do things carefully and correctly. Greedy. Never being satisfied with what one has, always wanting more. Selfish. Caring only about one's own interests. Snobbish. Looking down on others, believing oneself to be better than them. Stubborn, not willing to change. Tolerant, able to accept other people's views or behavior. Irritable, becoming angry or annoyed easily. Generous, willing to give money, time, help, etc. to others. Now, complete the sentences with a uh, suitable adjective, but first, let me ask you a question, which both a positive and negative meaning. Negative meanings, aggressive, greedy, selfish, snobbish, stubborn, and irritable. Positive, positive meanings. Conscientious and generous. There are two adjectives which are related to positive and negative at the same time, like anxious and tolerant. So here is a question. Why the adjectives anxious and tolerant may be considered to have both a negative and positive meaning? For instance, being anxious may be considered positive because it drives people to accomplish things and makes them re re resilient to failure. However, being overly to or ruthlessly anxious is clearly negative because it makes people oblivious to the consequences of their actions. It may also blur the line between right and wrong. In the same way, being tolerant is considered positive in that it enables you to accept differences and leads to acceptance and understanding. However, being excessively tolerant is bad because it may result in one putting up with behavior that is unacceptable. For example, many modern parents are tolerant to fruit, soft, of, or uh, insensitive behavior displayed by their children. Now, complete these sentences with suitable adjectives. Pause the video and present your own words, then come back to me to compare your answers with mine. Hello again. Let's check your answers. 1. I can accept all sorts of behavior, but I'm not tolerant of liars. Excellent. 2. You know what? You're turning into an irritable old man who is never happy and complains about everything. 
Three. Some people are greedy and think that they never have enough money. Four. Nora has always been generous toward the poor. She often makes donations to different organizations. Five. When their team started losing, the fans became aggressive and started shouting at the referee. Six. The selfish sister then let her siblings use her computer. Seven. Talo was a conscientious student at the school, but he's changed. He doesn't study at all at university. Eight. Adrian won't change his mind about this. He's so stubborn. Nine. Maria is a snobbish person who thinks that people who have less money than her aren't as good as she is. Ten. Muhammad is extremely ambitious. He wants to start his own business immediately after he finishes his university. Let's move to the second objective. To consolidate vocabulary by matching the phrases with their meanings using a word list. Page 84, Exercise B. Look at its extract from text A on page 82. What does the phrase in bold mean? And they dislike breaking promises. To break promise, I think, it means to not to carry out the promise. Now it's your turn to get the meaning of these idioms from 1 to 8, then match them with their meanings or definitions from A to H. Pause the video, then come back to me to compare your answers. Here we are again. Number 1. Break the news, which means to make something usually unpleasant known to someone or to tell others bad news. 2. Break the habit. Excellent! It means to stop or give up doing something you usually did. 3. Break the eyes. Good! It means to make people feel relaxed by saying or doing something, especially at the beginning of discussion, meeting or listen. 4. Break the law which means to do something illegal. 5. To break the record, which means to beat a previous record. Great! 6. Break the rules. Yes, dear students, it means J to refuse to obey common standards of behavior. 7. Break the silence which means to say something or make a noise after a period of quiet. 8. Break someone's heart, which means to make someone feel very sad. Now copy the answers in your notebook or in your student book. Our third objective to consolidate vocabulary by completing a of its sentences using the right phrases. Page 84, exercise D. Complete the sentences using the correct form of the idioms above. Pause the video till we come back to compare your answers. Again, 1. It was a quite beautiful morning. Suddenly, the sound of the police siren broke the silence. Good. 2. I'm sorry to be the one to... Great. To break the news to you, but somebody just crashed into your parked car. 3. Whoever doesn't buy a ticket before getting on the train is breaking the law. 4. Before he started his lecture, Professor Richards told a joke in order to break the ice. 
Five. It nearly broke her heart when her pet cat died. Six. Students who break the rules at the school will be in a serious trouble. Seven. After a lifetime of smoking, Tony found it hard to break the habit. He wanted to break the record for the 100 meter race, but he just couldn't run fast enough. No, it's time to copy uh, the answers in your notebook or your student book. Let's close our lesson today with this closure. Use any three words or phrases you have learned to form sentences. Dear students, your homework work, workbook, page number 72, exercise A and B. Thank you, dears, for your kind attention. See you next lesson, inshallah.